we got a lot to be thankful for. Been to some bad areas this weekend. We went to uh, Hazard, and I tell you what, there's uh, some people not too far away from us going through a whole lot right now. Talking about Hazard is about 40 miles from Whitesburg, who's completely underwater. In the city of Hazard, they no water supply. That's where everybody's going to, to stay right now. That's, that's where the shelters are. No water. Last night, I, I kept thinking about it all night, just what people's going through right now. It's time for us to step up and serve, amen? I just want to thank everybody who gave donations this week. I tell you what, we had, we've done this more than once now. And I tell you, we probably took the most filled up U-Haul that we've took so far to Whitesburg. And I want to thank God for that. We got to serve a lot of people. Connor, are we able to pull that video up? I want to show this video real quick, guys, and let you just hear from somebody in that area. Some of you guys may have already seen it. No? All right, we're not able to play the video. But as we were dropping off the U-Haul, I, I couldn't tell you how many people just come and just say, can I get, can I get a case of water? Can I, I, I need water. People, people crying. They, they said, this is like gold around here. Just something that we take for granted every day. What we're going to do next, and this is, this is the way we're going to respond, um, something me and Pastor Ronnie's been talking about, what are we going to do next? So if, if this is something you can help out with. Uh, this coming up Friday, um, we will be taking a team, and whoever would like to volunteer can come. Um, we are going to serve the communities, communities of Hazard and Whitesburg, and we're just going to serve hamburgers. We're going to serve hot dogs. We're going to uh, we're going to we're just going to feed them. Um, one one thing the shelter said is, is is we don't have nothing. We can't even feed. We can't even cook for these people. So. We're just gonna we're gonna bring some grills. We're gonna cook. We're gonna serve, and we're gonna our goal is to serve 1,000 meals. So this is what we need. We need hamburgers. We need hot dogs. We need hot dog buns. We need hamburger buns. We need ketchup. We need mustard. We need chips. We need plates. We need we need all, all these things. Now, if you want to bring water, you can bring water. But there's a lot of people doing that right now. So we're just gonna go and we're gonna serve. So if you want to be a part of that, we're gonna be meeting at our school campus. Um, at 7.30 on Friday, 7.30 in the morning, not in the evening, um, but come out and uh, get ready and prepared to uh, serve. If you would like to be a part of that, please get with me at the end of service, and let's keep praying for uh, our brothers and sisters. That's one thing about, about, the, about God is it's not about denominations. It don't matter if you're Methodist. It don't matter if you're Baptist. It don't matter. It, what, what I love about things like this is it brings people together. We quit worrying about the little things and we start worrying about the big thing. And the big thing is this, Jesus came to save the lost, amen? Jesus came to help the helpless. Jesus came to love the unlovable. And I don't care where, that, where you may be today, you might be the most unlovable person in the world. You might, be, you might be stuck in so much junk that you don't even know which way is up. But let me tell you something, Jesus loves you and he's the way, amen? And it's time for us to go and be the, be the hands and feet of Jesus, amen? If the ushers can come, we're going to take the offering this morning. If you want to be a part of that, please, we need all the donations we can. We need, we need so much stuff, and we're, we're throwing this together, and we're going to go serve, and we're going to go love on people, and we're going to go tell people that no matter the situation that they're in, no matter the way things may look right now, Jesus loves them. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you, God, for every opportunity you give us. We thank you, God, to be able to come to church this morning. We thank you, God, to be able to turn on the AC this morning. We thank you, God, to be able to have water this morning. God, we pray, God, that all these needs are met, and we pray, God, that you just have your way. God, help our brothers and sisters. Help uh, those that are in need this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.